I'm a big fan of Nathan McKinnon, and part of what makes him the player he is is that fiery spirit that we've seen on display more than once over the years. He's a player who cares a ton and has plenty of passion for the game. But in last night's game against the Seattle Kraken, we saw his emotion boil over, and it cost them big time. Now first, coming into last night's Kraken Avalanche game, these two teams were tied at two games apiece, and while it took all the way until the second, the Kraken, for the fifth straight game in a row, got the scoring started in the second, where seven minutes in, Schwartz puts one on net, and Morgan Geeky, doing the dirty work in front, puts home the goal. Two minutes later, though, it was the Avs jumping on the Kraken with bad turnover from Grubauer, ranting and puts it towards the net, and they score as this one deflects off of McKinnon's skate and in as they would tie it up at one apiece. So that would get us to the midpoint of the game where this happened. McKinnon along the boards cuts back and then goes down as he thinks it's a trip on the play. He complains, whacks a stick to the boards. Meanwhile, the Kraken are able to take it to the other end, Eberly around the net to the front, and they score. And it's Ty Cartier who nets his first career NHL goal in the playoffs, becoming just the eighth player in NHL history to do so. His parents in attendance, obviously extremely proud. Awesome stuff. But let's take a look at how this one starts. Again, it's that play on the other end where McKinnon cuts back, and yes, Borgen loses an edge here trying to stick with McKinnon. He goes down and gets his feet tangled up with McKinnon's. So yeah, I could see this being called a penalty, but it is close enough that I'm also honestly okay with it not being called. Both guys went down, and yeah. But regardless of how you want to look at it, penalty or not, it was what happened next that caused the Avs this goal. McKinnon immediately looks to the ref and complains, but the puck is right there. He plays this puck instead, and I'm pretty confident Colorado maintains possession in the offensive end. But instead, complaining then losing the puck and whacking his stick along the boards cost the Avs big time as even worse than that turnover McKinnon preoccupied is way late to the bench which then causes a domino effect as Comfort coming to the ice to replace him is a step behind his man who of course was Cartier ultimately the goal scorer here. Now we cut to McKinnon who's a bit in disbelief and again I'll let you guys decide if this is a penalty or not but letting your emotions take you out of the play like this it really hurt the Avs on this particular play as the Kraken took a one goal lead. With that said, that was all the scoring for the second as the Avs did have some great chances but couldn't get one to go so we'll head over to the third and final period where, not two minutes in, the Kraken work it back to the point, puts it on net and they score again to extend their lead to two as Susie gets it on net and Gord is there for the redirect. From here there was actually some great opportunities on both ends, Grubauer and Gorgiev had to make some key stops to keep the game where it was and so with less than four to go the Avs were forced to pull the goalie. Six on five, Rodriguez to Taves gives it back and they score a huge goal to get them back to within just one as this one gets deflected not once but twice off the Kraken players and into the net so a huge break to get them within just one with plenty of time but despite that time Colorado had trouble getting another one to go in a huge stop by Rodriguez here but ultimately it would end up not mattering as with time expiring the Kraken held on to take this game three to two and are now just one game away from taking this series against the reigning champs I can say I did not have that in my bracket but yeah, that's it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.